Here we go. Focus. Focus. Big night. Concentrate. You're an animal. You're a tiger. You're a panther. Rawr. Good evening. Good to see you. Lost a bit of weight. It's fabulous that you could all make it. It means such a lot. Thank you. Now, everyone knows that this year's Oscar for Best Actress will probably go to Helen Mirren, who appears to have actually become the Queen. You're gone. The Academy just love Brits playing royalty, and it seems that Dame plus Crown equals Oscar. Well, there's no such title privilege for the winner of the Kermode Award for Best Actress. Based on the true story of a college girl who came to believe that she was beset by demons, the German movie Requiem is one of the most powerful, intelligent and harrowing films of 2006. Ich gehe studieren, ich versuche alles richtig zu machen und Gott schickt mir Dämonen. Weil du ein besonderer Mensch bist. Deine Empfindsamkeit gegenüber dieser gottlosen Welt ist sehr stark. Lass uns beten. Komm, das hat er beim letzten Mal so gut gemacht. Nein, ich will nicht beten. Das ganze Beten nützt doch nichts. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of my Best Actress Award, Sandra Huller. Thank you, Mark Kermode, for the Kermode. I'm really proud to have it, and I think it's really beautiful. And I like that it shines. And uh, I think he's going to stay with me for a while. Maybe we're going to have some arguments in between, but I think it's going to work. Thank you very much, and maybe we will meet in person one day. Bye. This year's Oscar nominations for Best Actor range from the hotly tipped Forest Whitaker, brilliant as Edie Armin in The Last King of Scotland. I am a cannibal, huh? Huh? These are lies! To the inexplicably included Will Smith from The Rubbish, The Pursuit of Happiness. You want something? Go get it. Now, last year, the award went to Philip Seymour Hoffman for his outstanding performance in the title role of Capote. This year, Infamous offered another take on the trials and tribulations of Truman. I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it. it. It seems insane to say that he's tender, but he does have the tender and the terrible side by side inside him. Here at the Kermodes, we're happy to acknowledge what the Americans are just too embarrassed to admit, that when it comes to playing Truman, no one told my best actor winner, Toby Jones. That will sit in a very special place on my uh, bookshelf, full of your books on film criticism. And I'll try <laughs> and learn more and more about the art of acting from you. What a great honour. Thank you so much. Oscar for animation will almost certainly go to Happy Feet. Oh! A dopey oh, rehash of March of the Penguins, which suggests that we should all be nice to flightless seabirds, but only if they can tap dance. How much more adventurous is the paranoid future nightmare A Scanner Darkly, which rotoscoped live action footage to create a brain scrambling vision of Philip K. Dick's paranoid source? If the front door is opened while we are in absentia, Thumbnail-sized auxiliary motion detector digital memory camera start recording. You should have told them. What if they come in through the back door or the bathroom window like that infamous Beatles song? Richard Linklater's adult animation didn't get nominated at the Oscars, but for me, it beats the dancing penguins flippers down. Thanks, Mark. On behalf of everyone, who had anything to do with Scanner Darkly, the entire cast, crew, all the animators. We just have one question for you. What's wrong? Don't you like cute, talking animals? The fact that you would choose to honor a film of a bunch of paranoid druggies, I think, is a real indictment. Not only of you, Mark, but perhaps your entire culture. But thanks a lot, anyway. Now, the Oscars have two categories for sound, but depressingly, the nominations tend to be dominated by Dumbo blockbusters, <laughs> musicals, <laughs> and films with 
just happen to have been nominated in the other major categories. None of these, however, has an oral landscape to match that of this year's Kermode Award for Best Sound Design. Inland Empire scored a massive nul point at the Oscar nominations. So, to correct this grievous oversight, the Marilyn London Starlight Celebrity Show will be back next week from Hollywood, California, where stars make dreams and dreams make stars. Well, Mark, uh, this is a great honor to uh, receive this award on behalf of the sound in Inland Empire. Uh, cinema to me is sound and picture moving along together in time. So sound is, is very critical and uh, honored that you uh, give this award to uh, Inland Empire. This year sees the inauguration of a new award, the Kermode Honorary Award for services to movies which I really like, someone who has been grossly and negligently overlooked by the nitwits at the Academy. The recipient of this award is a man whose career goes up to 11. A brilliant actor, musician and filmmaker whose talents range from directing A Mighty Wind and Best in Show to starring in This Is Spinal Tap. Spike. How much more black could this be? And the answer is none. The recipient of this year's honorary Kermode Award, the Honourable Lord Christopher Guest. I've heard so much about this, uh, and holding this, able to take this back to my family and show them and have them say, what's that? Uh, you're not, you're not really going to display that, are you? Yeah, actually I am. I'm just gonna, right here. No, it's ugly. Well, yeah, but we could put a little uh, hat on him or maybe some glasses or a uh, hearing aid. It's good, you know? And my wife will say, um, if that doesn't go out, I'm out. And so to Best Film, and there really is only one contender for this award this year. It's been nominated for a brace of Oscars, but crucially, not in the Best Director or Best Film category because, well, let's face it, it's foreign. Now, I'm sorry, but anyone who thinks that world cinema is somehow inferior to the dross which Hollywood spews out is an idiot. And this year, as is so often the case, the very best film of the year has nothing whatsoever to do with America. Hola. Soy la princesa Moana. Y no te tengo miedo. No te da vergüenza estar aquí abajo comiéndote los bichitos y engordando mientras el árbol se mueve. The director is Guillermo del Toro, the film is Pan's Labyrinth, and between them, they scoop the Kermode Awards for Best Director and Best Film of the Year in any language. Well, I'm shocked, mortified, and relieved to have two of these, one for each end of the book case. Thank you very much. I will. I will treasure them always, and they'll live together happily on my shelf. Whew. Another year done. Oh. What'd you think? How was it? Good? Yeah, I mean, they were all great, but uh, how was I? Yeah, I thought so.